afternoon, and thank you everyone for joining us for the Needy Meds Brief, Demystifying the Drug Discount Card. My name is Carla. I am the Education Coordinator here at Needy Meds. And before we get started with today's presentation, I just want to go over a few tips. You can type your questions into the questions section of your GoToWebinar control panel at any time, but keep in mind we will reserve answering all questions until the end of the webinar. If we do not have the time to answer your particular question, we will follow up with you personally via email after the webinar concludes. This webinar is being recorded and will be available for viewing on, our, on the Needy Meds YouTube channel by the end of this week or the beginning of next. We will also email you a copy of the PowerPoint presentation after the webinar for your reference or to share. So now it is my pleasure to introduce our speaker today, Dr. Richard Sagal. Rich was a family and occupational medicine physician for 25 years, practicing in Bangor, Maine and Philadelphia. Rich is also the founder and current president of NeedyMeds. Today, Rich will start by making sure everybody knows what NeedyMeds is, and then he'll talk to you about how our drug discount card works, the tools for maximizing user savings, and why it should matter to you, whether you have health insurance or not. So bear with me while I switch the mic and the screen to Rich, and again, you're gonna hear a few moments of silence. Thanks for joining us and for your patience. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining this session that Carla put together. As she said, I'm going to start talking a little bit about needy meds. So we will get started with that. Let's see. So we want to go just to the next slide. Oops. What is needy meds? We are a national nonprofit. We've been around for 20 years. We're celebrating our 20th anniversary this year. And we are educating and empowering those seeking affordable health care. And what that means is we provide information on programs that help people who are having trouble with health care costs. And as you'll see, we have thousands of different types of programs on the website. All the information is free, easy to access, anonymous, and updated regularly. This is a sample of our homepage. And the place where most people start. We talk a little bit about our drug discount card right here. So this is a current figure. This is how much we save people since we started the card. We're very proud of this award right here. We're one of the top 50 nonprofits in the whole country to work for. And this is the fourth year we've earned that honor. Over here is information as to how, and we'll show you this, how this works, a drug pricing calculator for the card, how to get a card, and other services that we offer, Health Web Navigator, Needy Meds Alert, et cetera. There's lots and lots of information on the website, and I encourage everyone to spend a little time just mousing around to look at the different types of information that we have. This is an image of the drug discount card. This is a totally free card. Anyone can use it. It's good for prescription medications, over-the-counter meds and medical supplies written as a prescription. And in most pharmacies for pet prescriptions, you purchase at the pharmacy. Most people don't realize that, but many of our pets take the same medicines we take, or we take the same that they take, depending upon your viewpoint. With the card, you can save up to 80% off the cash price of prescription drugs. Now, how does the card work? The discounts will vary from month to month and pharmacy to pharmacy. And it is quite astounding sometimes the difference between one pharmacy and another. And that's why we have the price checking tool that I'll show you a little bit later. The card requires no activation, no registration, no sign up, no enrollment, no cost. It never expires as long as there are drug discount programs, you can use the card. There's no residency requirement, which means anybody can use it. There's no income guidelines and no insurance guidelines. Now, one restriction is that you cannot use the card with insurance. It's either the card or insurance. 
and roughly 5 to 10% of the time, the card produces a better price than your insurance will. It's accepted at over 65,000 pharmacies, including all the major change, chains, all the regional change, and all those small mom-and-pop operations. As I said, the card is ready to use. There's no activation required. And another important point is there's no tracking by individuals. We do not know who is using the card or what prescriptions are getting filled. Many other cards do get that information. What, how they use it, I don't know, but we don't even get that information. Now, why would a pharmacy accept a drug discount card? Why would they lower the price because someone has a card? There are five reasons for this. One is that the pharmacy is still making a profit even at the discounted price. Two, they're making sales they would not make otherwise. For example, if you walk in and the pharmacist says this is going to cost $200, you may turn around and walk out. If they say with the card it's only $100, you might make the purchase. The third reason is customer loyalty. Again, if the pharmacy gives you a big discount, you're going to come back. The fourth reason is extra sales. There's a reason why they put the pharmacy in the back of the drugstore. So you go down the aisles and maybe make some purchases you wouldn't make otherwise. And lastly is peer pressure. If everyone but Walgreens accepted the card, people would not go to Walgreens. They'd go to the places, the pharmacies that accept the card. Now, a little bit about the finances behind the card. How does it work? All drug discount cards work in a similar manner. You work through an intermediary called the Pharmacy Benefits Manager or a PBM or an adjudicator. They all have the same meaning. And they set up the network of pharmacies and they negotiate the discounted price. The price that you pay or anyone pays using a drug discount card is the sum of four figures. It includes the negotiated price and three transaction fees, one for the pharmacy, one for the adjudicator, the person who runs the network, and one for the marketer, in this case, needy meds. So that's how they work. That's the finances behind it. Now, who can use a card? As I said, anyone can use a card. There's no restrictions. As I like to say, the only eligibility requirement for using the card is you have to be breathing. Now, you cannot combine it with insurance or any state or federal programs, but you can use the card in place of those programs, even though many pharmacists will tell you otherwise. The uninsured can use a card anytime. People with insurance can use it in place of their insurance if they wish. And even people with insurance can use it to help um, eat up their deductible a little more slowly because it may give a better price in their insurance. They can also use it if they're on a medication not covered by insurance. If somebody falls in the Medicare donut hole, they can use a card, but the expenses that you, that you have going outside your insurance will not count towards getting out of the donut hole. So what that means is if you fall in the donut hole early in the year, don't use the card. Pay your way through the donut hole because then you get better coverage. On the other hand, if someone falls into the donut hole in November or December, they might as well use the card because they're not going to pay their way out. Again, you can also use a card if there's a high copay or a high deductible. And you can share this card. Your family and friends can use the same card or they can get their own. Now, how is, it, how is our card different from the hundreds of others you'll see out there? One is our primary goal is to connect users with other resources. We'd much rather you go to our website, see if your drug is on a patient assistance program, and if it is, if you qualify, you might be able to get the drug for free. We'd much rather you do that than use our card. The second is there's no uh, user identification. We do not know who's using the card. And third, our transaction fee, what Needy Meds gets from each transaction to cover our expenses, is the lowest in the business. So that we try to pass the savings on to the patients. How can you get a card? There's lots of different ways. You can go to the website and either print a paper one, or you can um, request one from the website directly. You can call our toll-free helpline number. You can send a self-addressed envelope to us, and we'd be happy to mail you one. And if you work for an organization or a business or a healthcare facility, we can send you a supply of cards and brochures by emailing alana 
at needymeds.org. Now we have some tools that help you maximize savings with the card. There's a drug pricing calculator, which I'll show you in a second. There's also a pharmacy finder. If you're looking to see which pharmacy accepts the card, although as I said, it's just about all of them because it's over 65,000. We also have a drug discount card app for smartphones. So rather than carrying another card in your wallet, you can just have it on your iPhone or your Galaxy, or whichever smartphone you have. And you can just pull up the image and show it to the pharmacist that has all the information right there. And on the back of the card, there is two support numbers. One is for patients. You can call us during the day if you have any questions about the card. And there's one for the pharmacist if they have a question. We also have partnership opportunities. We work with hundreds of different organizations where they can design in their own drug discount card and we, and we will print it up and give it to them to distribute. So if you have any questions, again, you can check with Alana or just call our business line number, and we'll be happy to explain it to you and how you can set up the partnership and help your clients, your patients, um, save on their prescription costs. Now what I'm going to do, sorry for that, is switch to the website. This is our website live, and you can see here that it counting up how much we save people uh, at the moment. And what we're going to do is go to the drug pricing calculator. This is a tool we put together to check on drug pricing. It's quite simple. You enter your zip code, so I'll put ours in, 01930. And then you can choose the radius, how far you're willing to travel. So we're gonna stick within the zip code. It puts the city right here just to make sure. And it says there's four pharmacies that match that. You can get information for up to 50 pharmacies if you wish. Then you could go to step two and you build what's called the drug list. So let's build a drug list to see if we can get some pricing. And as you start typing, it'll start giving you um, drugs that you can put in. So let's put in digoxin as a tablet. How many do we want? Well, let's say we want to get 30 of them and it's a 30 day supply and then we add that to our list. Let's suppose we want to get something else. Let's suppose we want to get some Lasix. We need 40 milligrams, and we need 30. Again, for a 30-day supply, we add that to the list. And we want, if it come, we put in a brand name, we want to know do, do we want the brand name price or the, or the generic price? We'll check both. And then we can show the results. Now there are four pharmacies within the area. Two of them are Walgreens or CVS, so it didn't duplicate that. So it lists each drug and how much it costs. You can see the difference between the brand name and the generic is quite significant. And you can see that most of these pharmacies is pretty close. It probably doesn't make too much difference which one you go to. The Rite Aid is a little cheaper for this drug and this one, and this one. So you probably would want to go to the Rite Aid. You can print this out, you can view it, you can email it, you can get the store information here. So we try to give you everything you need. You can start a new search or you can enter a new zip, but that shows you how the pricing tool works. It's pretty quick, it's pretty easy. And again, you can also print, text, or email the whole list if you want. This icon is to, is to text it. Or you can just do the individual stores if you want. It's always good if you get the prices to go into the drugstore just so you have and have the information with you. Now let's see, where else do we want to go next here? We do have just a pharmacy finder, which is under this. This is where you can get a drug discount card. You can print out the PDF, as I mentioned, which is an actual card, and you can use it just in place of the plastic. Or you can fill in information here, and we will send you a card or more if you wish, and you can choose how many you want. We have a few different versions of the card right here. Some people didn't like the word needy, so we came up with some that don't say needy on them. If you wish to make a donation, which is purely voluntary, you can do it here. 
and then there's a pharmacy search. So you can choose a state, you can choose a zip. So again, we'll do this one, 01930. But let's go within five mile radius. We're willing to travel a little bit. Although why anybody would want to leave Gloucester, I don't know. And it gives this other one here, it adds one in Rockport. And the two CVSs that I mentioned. You can get a map. right there so you can find it. Let's just go back. You can choose which ones you want to print if you want to have a list of pharmacies. So that's how it works. It's really quite simple. Um, this is information about the app that I mentioned. You can get it in the App Store or the, or the uh, Apple Store and put it right onto your cell phone to make it easy. Now, do you want me to do the partnership? Yeah. Okay. As I mentioned, let's go back to the PowerPoint. There we go. We talked about this. If you if you want to partner with us, we partner with many, many organizations. And it's a good way to help your clients build some, um, some loyalty to your organization, get your word out. But most importantly, it's to help people save. So that really covers the cards. We'll take any questions that you may have right now. Just watching to see if anybody has any questions about the card. We mail out thousands of these every week. So if you want any, please let us know. Let's see, here's a question. Someone asked, is Costco and Sam's Club on the list? Yes, they are. Um, some of the big box stores, the Sam's Club being one, I don't believe that they accept it for pet prescriptions. And again, you can check this by going to the pharmacy finder to see if there's one close to you. But it's pretty much every pharmacy accepts a card. It's rare that we find a pharmacy that doesn't accept the card. Someone asked, does the pricing tool give the price after using the discount or before? This is the price after using the discount. So you know what it's gonna cost you going in. Now pricing changes all the time. And so just because it costs a certain amount this month, it may be a different amount next month. And that's just the nature of it. It varies from month to month, from pharmacy to pharmacy. Even within a chain, it may differ. I've been told that the Urban stores cost more than the rural stores. I haven't had a chance to check that out. And it can be very difficult because you may be on five medicines and there may be five different pharmacies to give the best price for each. So you have to decide how you want to do that, how much you want to travel around to different pharmacies. Let's see, we have a question. How does the Needy Meds discount card compare to competitors? Generally speaking, we find that we offer as good or a better discount. Sometimes others will give a better price. There's no doubt about that. No card gives the best price all the time. Drug pricing, as you may have seen if you're following the, the news and the pricing articles, is a very complex process. And no one can claim to give the best price all the time but we find that we're within a few pennies, if not the best price. On the drug discount finder, is that the cost with the card? Yes, it is. And if someone has insurance, should the patient ask the pharmacist not to run the insurance, but just to use the card? That depends. That's not much of an answer, but that depends. It depends on the drug. As I said earlier, five to 10% of the time we give a better price in the copay, but most of the time we don't. Now, pharmacists may be willing to check the price with the drug discount card. Sometimes they'll say, you have insurance, you have to use it. And that's not true. You never have to use your insurance. Just think about automobiles. You get in a fender bender, you may decide just to pay for it out of pocket and not report it to insurance. You have the same option with Medicaid, with uh, health care costs and your health insurance. You don't have to use your insurance. Do we provide copay cards? We have copay cards listed on the website under the section that's entitled coupons, copays, and rebates. 
We list every copay card we can find, every coupon we can find. We check every entry in the coupons list every month to make sure it's accurate. So we do list them, but it's different than the Needy Meds drug discount card. With any drug discount card, the discount comes from the pharmacy. With a copay card, the copay assistance comes from the manufacturer. So that's a big difference. Have you heard of new dis discount card options such as Blink Health and Refill Wise? If so, what's the advantages or drawbacks you see to those? With Blink, you're, you're putting the money in ahead of time. And that's the only diff big difference that I can see. I don't think the prices are significantly different. Now, sometimes they may take a loss on some of the cards, I mean, on some of the prescriptions to entice people to use them, which is fine. Um, I'm not familiar with Refill Wise, so I can't comment on that. But there is no magic. All the drug discount cards worth work basically the same. Of the five to ten percent of the ten percent used by people with healthcare insurance, what meds are typically covered and purchased? I wish I could answer that question, but I can't because the drug discount card works for thousands of medicines. Now, I w I would generally say that on the less expensive drugs, the tier one drugs, you're not going to save very much. But I did have someone once tell me that they had a prescription for amoxicillin. Their copay with the insurance was $15, and they pushed and almost harassed the pharmacist to check the price with the needy meds card, and it was $10. So the price was cheaper with the card. But I can't get into the specifics because it varies so much from drugstore to drugstore, drug to drug, et cetera. That seems to be the last um, question. If you have one, please go ahead and type it. Again, our mission is to help people save and get the best pricing they can. We're the only drug card out there that says, check our website, see if you can get the price, get the medicine for free, if you qualify for a PAP. If you don't, then please use our card or at least consider it. Whoops, got another question here. Do, do drugstores not like using the card? Well, it's a mixed situation. It's a fact of life, so they have to accept it. I'm sure they would rather sell it at the full price and make more money. On the other hand, the pricing of drugs is so arbitrary that they are used. They factor this in. One way you can evaluate pharmacists or categorize pharmacists, I should say, is those that have patients and those that have customers. Those that have customers want to count the pills, collect your money, and send you on your way. Those that have patients want to work with you to make sure you understand the medicine and that you get the best price you can. We've heard of some pharmacists who keep a drug discount card, a needy meds card under the counter. If someone comes in who's cash paying, they whip it out and give it to them so they can use it for the lower price. And other pharmacists who will hassle people if they have any drug discount card. So it varies quite a bit. Um, but as I said, the drug, the pharmacies keep or calculate into their, their um, budgeting the use of drug discount cards, so don't feel bad about using one. Could I elaborate on why discounts vary so much month to month within the same pharmacy? Well, part of it is for some reason the drug pricing may change. Uh, the cost of the medicine may change from the wholesaler depending upon supply available, um, competition, etc. We all hear about these drugs that for some reason are in short supply, maybe a manufacturing problem, who knows what. Then the other thing is, and this gets a little complicated, there is something called a generic effective rate, which is the overall discount the pharmacy gives to a drug discount card marketer or purveyor, PBM. And if you get, if the discount is too great, you have to make adjustments. So if lots of people are using a drug with a high discount, they may have to change that because it's putting their generic uh, equivalent rate too high. So it gets very complex, and there have been lots of papers written on this, and you just can't guarantee anything with the drug pricing. I hope that answers the question. Will you send out the recording by asking a recording of this to the asking participants on today's webinar? If so, please send it to me. Um, it'll be available on the YouTube channel where you can download it. 
and um, we will send you a copy of the PowerPoint. If you have any questions, you can always email Carla, C-A-R-L-A, at needymeds.org, and she'll be happy to answer them and get you what information you want. She also will be happy to schedule a special webinar if you have a group uh, people, you do regular education sessions for your organization or whatever, she'd be happy to schedule a special webinar either just about the drug discount card or about needy meds in general. And again, just either give her a call at the office or drop her an email at carla at needymeds.org and she will get back in touch with you. Let's see, any more questions here? Or we went out? No, a couple more. One said thanks and one said, do you anticipate any improvement in pricing anytime soon? As I say, I wish I knew, but that's about my pay grade. I just don't know. No one knows what's going to happen with drug pricing. And it depends how you define soon. I think it's going to be a long, slow process. And I think that's the last question, so I'm going to hand the headset back to Carla. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you everybody so much for participating today. And I do hope you found today's Needy Meds Brief on demystifying the drug discount card useful. Um, thank you, Rich, for explaining that in depth to us. And a couple more things before we wrap it up. I wanted to point out, as you can see, one of the, one of the um, ways we try and fulfill our education goal in our mission statement is by populating our webinar calendar with a whole host of different top webinars on different topics, ranging, as you can see, as evidenced by today, from special needy meds topics and programs, such as today's drug discount card webinar, or the upcoming Safe Needle Disposal Pharmaceutical Take Back Program webinar. But we also try and populate our calendar with diagnosis-based webinars, such as the one coming up on breast cancer, and also healthcare topics in general, such as the one coming up in the middle of the month on counterfeit drugs in America. You can sign up for these webinars just by checking out the Needy Meds calendar on our homepage or visiting the Needy Meds webinar page under the Advocates tab of the homepage. As Rich said, we will certainly provide you with a copy of the PowerPoint presentation. I'll provide you also via email with my contact information should you like to get in touch with me for any other questions you may have or to schedule a personalized training. And we will do our best to get a recording of this webinar up on our YouTube channel by the end of the week or the beginning of next week at the latest. With that, thank you again for your time. We look forward to keeping in touch and have a healthy and happy rest of the week. Take care.